how's it going guys and welcome here to Barca Variety and as the title race is getting closer it's getting more and more entertaining to watch there are eight games to go and you can see how tight it is at the top but who will lift the La Liga trophy in the end will it be Barcelona Real Madrid or Atletico Madrid or maybe my Sevilla just come in and take it away from all these three teams. We're going to be talking about it in full length and in full detail. So let's get started. And guys, I will also be giving you an update on Ansu Fati's recovery because there were some great news. But if we do get started for now with Atletico Madrid, because I really want to talk about Atletico Madrid because at the start of the season, it seemed like they were running away with the title. And it seemed like they were, at some point, they were 13 points above Barcelona. And it seemed like Atletico Madrid, this was their year. But then, they started to drop a serious amount of points. And that caused them so many problems. And they looked a little bit shaky after that UCL defeat against Chelsea. They started to lose confidence in themselves. But before that, they were very, very solid. Guys, the question here is, can Atletico Madrid handle the pressure? They are the league leaders by one point and there are eight games to go. But can Atletico Madrid handle the pressure? Now here, I don't fancy Atletico Madrid because we've seen them crumble under pressure. And they are only one point above Real Madrid and two points of Barcelona so you would expect them not to handle the pressure they you already saw the signs of nervous and they're already very very nervous and they're not getting good results or dropping many many points but if we take a look at Atletico Madrid's schedule because Atletico Madrid goes home to Abar, which you would think it's an easy game but the small teams don't always say they're easy games because they could show up and they could make life difficult for you. And then they have Hiwiska at home. They have Atletico about away, which they will be challenged. Elche away. And then, of course, they face Barcelona. We face them at the camp now. And then they go home to Real Sociedad, home to Asasuna and away to Real Valladolid. So you can see they have Athletic Bilbao, they have FC Barcelona, they have Real Sociedad, they have three tough games you could say that they could drop points, but they could even drop points against Osasuna, Eibar, Huizca, Elche, Real Valladolid, because they've been so bad. They've been so bad under the pressure. It's like they can't handle it anymore. But then we go, we do go on to talk about second place, Real Madrid. Because, yes, the El Clasico was crucial for Real Madrid. But this is what I said before the game. It won't be decisive for the La Liga title. Because after the El Clasico, Real Madrid were favorites. It's everyone went into Real Madrid's favor. And everyone's like, okay, they are looking like they won't lose anything any more points and they are the winners for this La Liga title and to be fair they are in great form and they are in huge huge part of their season so you would expect them to be very very focused but they've been hit by so many injuries it looks like Lucas Vasquez will miss the rest of the season and he's been so important for them Ramos out injured Varan tested positive for COVID-19 there is they have so many injury problems so you'd expect them to drop some points and also they have the Champions League and right now they lead 3-1 on aggregate and they go to Anfield and you would expect them to get the job done and that would actually be good news if they get the job done because they have another champ, another title to focus on, another competition to focus on other than La Liga. But for Barcelona and Atletico Madrid, they only have La Liga. There is no Champions League. Barcelona just has the Copa del Rey final and they have no Champions League. So Real Madrid, you would expect them to want the Champions League more than they would want the La Liga title. And if we do take a look at Real Madrid's games, because they go away to Getafe, they go away to Cadiz, and then they go home to Betis, 
home Asasuna, home Sevilla, away to Granada, away to Athletic Bilbao, and home to Villarreal. And guys, people saying that Real Madrid fixtures are the easiest. But you know what? There's a good mix of some difficulties. Because they go home to Betis. That's a difficult one. And awake to Kadish is not always easy. It is not always easy. And then they do go ho away home to Sevilla. And away to Athletic Bilbao. And home to Villarreal. So you would expect all those teams to challenge them. And also Granada away is not easy at all. So you expect these teams to challenge them. And if they do drop some points. Even if it's two points. Barcelona would go all the way up in the title race. They would go past them. But Barcelona cannot afford to drop any more points. And talking about Barcelona, we do move on to talk about Barcelona, the team that we're going to talk about, the last team, but not the least, because they are in third place, and Sevilla are coming behind them. Sevilla are only four points away, and we should be careful of Sevilla. Guys, imagine after all this, Sevilla come in and clinch the title. That would be crazy scenes. But guys, yes, the El Clasico was important, and if Barcelona won the El Clasico, you know what would have happened. We would have been the favorites for the title. We would have been the favorites for the title and we would probably go on to win it if we won the El Clasico. But guys, we didn't win it. But guys, I want to remind you. Everyone is feeling so bad after the El Clasico defeat. But remember one thing. We are only two points off. That's not a huge margin. We are only two points off Atletico Madrid and one point off Real Madrid. So if they drop any more points, we need to stay perfect. We need to stay calm. And guys, if this team goes back to the form they were in against Real Sociedad at the Anueta, we would be on fire. We would be unstoppable. And guys, there is no room for mistakes. We can't drop any more points. It's clear as that. We need to stay perfect. We need to get the maximum points. And we got to focus on ourselves. And we got to do our job. And guys, I want to bring you something very, very interesting. Because MD go out and say in their newspaper article, they say they won't give up. It's not over yet. And Sport also say they won't give up. It's not over yet. The title is not over. And that is very, very good. And as you can see, we are only two points away. We need to not give up. We need to keep on fighting. And if we do take a look at Barcelona's remaining eight games. Because they have home Getafe. And guys, that is our next fixture. And that is not easy. That is not easy. We need to be careful in these games and not take any game easily. Then we go away to Villarreal, which is very tough. Home to Granada, which is also tough. Away to Valencia, again, another tough game. Atletico home, Levante away, Celta Vigo home, and Abar away. And you can see we have a mix of opponents. And it looks like we have the hardest fixtures out of all these teams. But we need to stay focused. We are Barcelona. Every team is scared to face us. So let's show the world what we can do. And let's stay perfect in this remaining eight games. And guys, I just want to tell you guys that we need to focus on ourselves. Before we go and look at Atletico Madrid. Before we go and look at Real Madrid. We need to focus on ourselves. We need to focus on what we do. Yes, we're going to hope that they drop points because we are the ones behind them now. But you know what? We need to focus on what we do more than we focus on what Real Madrid and Atletico Madrid do. But if we do speak about some great news about the recovery of Ansu Fati because a third surgery it would not be needed if he continues to feel this way because there are some reports that Ansu Fati is feeling so good with the treatment that he's taking and that is brilliant because a third surgery would remove his meniscus completely and that is very, very bad for his long-term career. So I'm so happy to hear that a, sur a third surgery wouldn't be needed. And I hope that Ansu Fati continues to feel this way. And guys, 
You will also travel with the squad to Sevilla to take part in that Copa del Rey final. Of course, he won't play. He won't come on as a substitute. He will just watch. And if we do win the title, he will celebrate it with us. And of course, you want him to stay close with the squad, close with the spirits. And if we do win, it's going to be great for him. And guys, who do you think will win La Liga? It's very, very tough to decide. And it's so close at the top. You can't really choose anyone. But who do you think will win it? Who do you predict will win it? Comment down below and subscribe for more videos. And if you did enjoy the video, hit that like button. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.